Yo, what's going on guys, it's Ali here. So today I'll be showing you guys how to connect your PS4 into your laptop without any monitor or TV. So first of all, go to your laptop and search PS4 Remote Play and it'll be the first link or just go in the description below and click the, down, click the link in the description. So there's no viruses in here. Um, this is the PS4 website. If there's a virus, then go complain to PS4. And uh, over here, you want to click on the Windows PC user. And here you get like information about the, the software. You, you basically just need to go and scroll down. And you want to click, you want to go to in, Intel setup. And you want to go to, you want to check I, I agree and click on Windows PC and you'll download the setup and click on it and uh, you want to click yes and here choose your language and it's gonna prepare to install next next and install now you're just gonna wait here you go finish and then you're just gonna wait until it launch and I should open it a second now here we go. All right here we have it. And if it's your first time opening this software, there's going to be a login uh, menu. So you basically just need to log in. And uh, after you logged in, go to your PS4. And in here, you will need a monitor. Yes, I know, I know. The title, the title says without monitor or TV, but you will just need it for five seconds, basically five seconds. And after that, you don't need it anymore you can just unplug it what you need the monitor or ps4 the monitor or tv for is basically you need to connect the, the wi-fi in your ps4 and then, and then set it to rest mode so i'm gonna connect the wi-fi in my ps4 and after you connect the, the wi-fi into your ps4 you don't need the monitor anymore so i'm just gonna do that real quick and i'll show you guys how i connect the, the wi-fi in my ps4 Alright, so now you basically just need to connect the Wi-Fi and then after that you can, you know, remove the monitor. You can unplug the monitor. You just need to connect the Wi-Fi. And after that you don't need the monitor anymore. So, go to settings. Go to network. Set up con internet connection. You can use LAN or Wi-Fi. I'll use Wi-Fi for example. There you go. After that, you can now unplug the monitor. You don't need the monitor anymore. All right, but make sure you go to power and go enter rest mode. You want it on rest mode, the PS4, all right? And now you don't need the monitor anymore. You, you don't need it, all right? All right, so now you basically go into unplug the monitor or TV there you go you will not need the monitor or TV anymore so now you're going to connect your PS4 to your laptop wireless all right so now we're basically going to connect our PS4 to our laptop without any monitor so if you see here my monitor is not connected and now we're basically going to connect the PS4 to our laptop wirelessly so first of all you want to turn on your your PS4 you want to turn it on by clicking the turn on button over here click it and you're going to wait until the light is white right now it's blue so we're going to wait until it turns white it 
Lady Steel Blue. And now it's white. When it's white, go back to your computer and go back to this app, to this software. And if it's first, if you if it's your first time logging into this software, there's going to be a blue dot that says connect. Uh, mine says PS4 because I already tested it. But if your first time, if you, if it's your first time opening software, it's probably gonna say like connect or something. But you would just want to click on the blue button over here and make sure this light is white and just when it's white click on the blue button in the software we just downloaded and make sure as well you have the same Wi-Fi and I do not have the same Wi-Fi because I have the LAN cable so you might you need to make sure that you have the same Wi-Fi as the, as the PS4 so you want the same Wi-Fi as the PS4 so I'm just gonna connect it right now so this is the Wi-Fi that my PS4 is using so make sure you have the same Wi-Fi so it's now connected and now we can go to the software click on the click on the blue button and it will now search for the PS4 So yet again, make sure you have the same Wi-Fi as the computer and the PS4. And now we're basically just gonna wait. If it's your first time, it will. This will take long. It will probably just take like, if it's your if it, if it's your first time using this software, it will probably take like a minute until it finds the PS4. But I should be able to find it quite fast. So now it's connecting to P, to your PS4 now. All right, it's connecting to the PS4. Checking network. You can see here at the top and there you go here you have it so yet again I don't have any I don't have any HDMI connected anywhere I'll show you guys so if you see here there's no HDMI all right and in my monitor as well, I'll show you guys. This is legit, all right. There's no HDMI, and there's no HDMI in here. And if you see here, this is the HDMI. That's see here. This HDMI is that one over there, and the HDMI to my PS4. I gone. There's no HDMI anywhere. And there you go. That's how you do it. So here you have it. So now to navigate, you don't use your computer you don't use your controller. Um you, you you need to use your keyboard basically. Your keyboard. And if you want to use your controller, you need to have a USB cable over here, a USB cable. Uh, so you need the USB cable to be connected to your computer because your computer is the one that's going to control the PS4. So I'm just gonna connect it. So here's the USB connected to my controller. There you go. So now it's connected to the computer. And now if you see, you can now navigate with your controller. You can also navigate with your keyboard as well. So if you want to play keyboard and mouse. So now you can play any game. Now you can just play any game you want. We're just gonna play Genesis Impact because it's the game that's popular right now.
so we're just going to wait and by the way you don't need the best computer to do this oh here you here you have it I don't know if you can hear the music because I have my headset on right now but here you have the here you have the the game basically and now you can just we're just gonna wait until it loads actually okay it's really loud holy shit all right to turn on the music if you if you don't have music on you want to turn on the music in your computer to do that go to your sound settings and you want to turn you want to you want to have this speaker profile over here the speaker All right you want it that one and now we're gonna wait until it loads and uh, all right this is you have your, your PS4 over here. You have your. You, you don't have. You don't need a mon monitor or anything. You can now play your PS4 games on your computer, your lovely computer or laptop. And you don't need the best specs as well. You don't need the best specs. I'll leave my specs in the description. That is pretty shit. So you don't need the best computer to do this. So here you have it. I'm navigating with my controller here. I don't know if you can hear the music, but it's really, really loud. So hopefully you can hear it. Because I'm using my headphones right now to record this or to record the audio anyways. Here you have it. You can play whatever. Now, now you can like play whatever game you want. So we're going to test out a different game. Close application. Yes. I guess let's test out Fortnite. But anyways, that's how you connect your PS4 to your laptop wirelessly. You don't need any monitor or anything. Alright, you don't need this. You don't need a TV. Here you have it. So anyways, hope you guys liked the video. Drop and subscribe.